Okay, I've received so many questions about how to photograph the solar eclipse on April 8th that I'd like to answer them right here. Uh, there's been a lot of them, so let's just dive in. First of all, today's show is brought to you by, let's hear it, <laughs> Smug Mug, the photo platform that I use to run my website, sell prints to clients, and back up all of my photos. Take advantage of the free two-week trial at smugmug.com. Okay, when and where is the eclipse? April 8th. Starts in the Texas area around San Antonio and will go through the middle of the country up to the main border with Canada in Hilton. Who's heard of Hilton? Who's ever been there? Uh, the bare minimum accessories needed to safely photograph the eclipse. You're going to want to invest in some little glasses like this, some solar glasses, and if you want to shoot on your phone, Let's get it in the camera. A little solar filter. You're looking ten to twenty dollars in uh, in cost to, to buy the stuff. Uh, you need to have glasses on your eyes to protect your eyes from when you look up at the sun, and you need the solar filter for taping over your phone for if you're going to use uh, the telephoto lens and try to get a close up of the sun. If you're not, if you're doing a wide shot, you will not need the filter. How can you see your camera? when you're wearing solar glasses? Well, it's a little hard. I mean, the, the, the uh, glasses are very dark, and um, but the sun is bright. So you got the glasses on, you position the phone, turn it a few times until you can see the sun in there, and you will see it, and then you'll be able to get your shot. Uh, can you damage your cell phone camera if you're shooting a time lapse without a filter? If you shoot a wide angle time lapse, which you'll probably be doing, uh, which I would highly recommend, it's a great shot. You're gonna see the world go dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and then light up again. That's a great time lapse. Uh, if you're doing a wide shot, you do not need a filter. Why is watching the solar eclipse so cool? Well, as I said, it's a normal day. Uh, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the clouds are moving, and then it starts to get dim and dimmer and dimmer, and dimmer, and then it gets to total darkness. And then it lights up again. And that's something you haven't seen before, I don't think. I, I saw it in 2017. I, I'll never forget it. And it's a great scene. I mean, you got people are with you. There's no politics, no red, no blue. Everybody is a citizen of planet Earth, and they're just thrilled to be there. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, what's more important, getting the eclipse shot or the scene? I like the scene. I like the kids wearing the glasses looking up and seeing the joy in their faces like the old 3D uh, movie shot. I like seeing the clothes, the outfits, the, um, the antics, how people are acting and responding. That to me is more interesting than what is arguably not the greatest shot on your phone. So that's my point of view. Is it realistic to expect a phone close-up of the eclipse? No. Uh, it'll be small, uh, depending on the phone you have. If you have an older iPhone Galaxy Pixel, you've got a smaller telephoto lens, it'll be eh. If you've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the Samsung S21, S22, S23 Galaxy, or the Pixel 8 Pro, you have a 5X or a 10X zoom lens that will get you much closer. It'll be a better shot. But I still like the kids with the glasses or the video. Any special settings for my phone that I should know about? Night mode and burst mode. Night mode on, on both the iPhone and on the Galaxy and the Pixel will let you keep the shutter open longer to give you a brighter shot in darkness. Uh, night mode is, um, is, a, is a secret of the iPhone that only comes out when it's dark. It's in the camera mode menu. Click the carrot at the top. It's, it's the second uh, feature after flash. And make sure to take it off auto and go to maximum exposure for that. Uh, secondly, burst mode. If you wanted to get a whole bunch of telephoto shots of the action of the moon covering the sun, um, you can either put your finger down on the shutter, swipe left, or click the volume up, burst, volume up button for burst mode. That's on the iPhone. On the Galaxy, the shutter goes down. Um, the, the white button goes down. What about an accessory telephoto lens for my phone? Nah. Once upon a time, yes, but since the later phones have gotten much better telephotos, buying a telephoto lens will not double your telephoto lens, so uh, I wouldn't waste the money. 
Uh, tips for setting up a phone on a tripod. Well, make sure you buy a tripod and you get the tripod adapter, uh, the smartphone tripod adapter that will then click into the tripod that will make it, um, that will let you get that shot. And uh, you, you can shoot handheld. Of, uh, if you want to, you can get a better shot with the tripod. And certainly for video and time lapse, you have to have a tripod. How can I quickly grab a shot of the eclipse and spend the rest of the time enjoying the experience? Well... Uh, how about you put the camera on the tripod, you get a few stills, and then let it run on video. The, the, the other thing you could do, of course, is that you could let the video run. The minute you start r running a video, and the red button that lets you know that you're recording video, there's a white button that comes next to it, a white shutter button, and it will let you take photos at the same time. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, if you have other questions... Uh, first of all, make sure to check out my newsletter, jeffersoncram.substack.com. Stay tuned for, I've got all sorts of iPhone tips right here on this channel. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. Leave your questions in the comments below as well. I should have mentioned, I'm Jefferson Graham. Thanks a lot for watching Photowalks TV.